well this looks a bit crazy because this one has a light and some papers in it but then also has self tanners toners um face masks serums face washes in there and mixed with face wipes and this is all the travel stuff i don't even use menstrual pads anymore i should probably just donate them I'm going to leave out the linen closet because I did it recently. If you didn't see that video, I'll link it in the cards and in the description box. But for now, I'm going to work on all of my beauty products and I'm going to include products in the bathroom. I want to first remove the things that I know I absolutely cannot use because they're expired or dried out or just not a vibe anymore, whatever that means, and take out the things that I'm just never going to use including what's in the bathroom, recategorize everything, and hopefully consolidate this to less bins. This bookshelf is a little bit tricky because it's primarily PR and products that I have not used. In one of the baskets with the wood handle there, I have products that were in my project pan last year. Like, why do I still have the pan and those eyeshadows? I haven't done them in six months, or more than six months even. Matilda, this is for you. You said that you struggle with decluttering clothes that are not in the condition to be donated. Well, today I put on socks that come off my heel all the time. And they gotta go in the trash. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a bit too much free toe for the internet. So, um, these are coming to my kitchen garbage. Your future self will be so grateful. You are not gonna, I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm not gonna go back in the trash looking for those socks. Don't even think about it. I just put them on so that I wouldn't be barefoot and I realized, oh, the elastic is dead. I have also experienced guilt where I'm like, oh my God, I'm contributing to landfill. Buddy, if it doesn't get thrown out in my lifetime, it's going to get thrown out eventually. So the damage is done. It's over. I still have blockages, decluttering other things. So that's why I do these videos, so that, you know, you can watch me declutter. In other news, I need a new box for my clothing donations. Ugh, I started filming this video when it was actually light outside because it was noon during my lunch break while I was working from home. But now, it's so dark. So I'm going through my stuff on the floor, listening to a podcast on YouTube and i opened my balcony door and all my windows to receive air from outside i'm running my humidifier i put some tea tree oil doing a mask i started going through my bathroom first because it just felt like the easiest and i found deodorant that i don't need some expired things some talc i'll never use that is really old there were plenty of misplaced things or samples or random bits and bobs that i just I'm, I don't see a point in keeping duplicates either. A brush that my mom used to use, so I'm not gonna use it. And um, I found other goodies that I forgot about. These shares could go somewhere else. So those just need to be put away. Washing this because it looks dirty. I found this smaller container, so I think I'm gonna be using this somewhere else. I found these Desio lenses from a sponsorship that I did so long ago and these actually expired in 2020 and they're unopened. I think it's safe to say I'm gonna let this go. I even found vintage contact packs from when my mom had contacts in the 90s. There's nothing in here, thank God, because otherwise that'd be so embarrassing. But even the packaging's like, it's like yellowed. Look at this. What? in god's name oh my god there's liquid in here this thing used to split in half like this then you would snap it oh my god guys how are these oh my gosh these do not feel like fresh looks they feel so much thicker look at this these are contacts from the 90s guys i think i might even have a picture of my mom wearing these Okay, these actually have to go. 30 year old contacts. I really feel like looking up Siba Vision and figuring out if this brand still exists. This vintage vessel, you guys. <laughs> oh my god, they still exist. Ha! The next thing I have is this watermelon frost for throat disease and general wounds with 
bleeding and toothache and burns. I think we kept it because we didn't want to forget the packaging or what it was. You press it and then it pushes the powder onto the wound. Last but not least, oh my god, this is embarrassing. I don't even know why I kept this. These are my retainers from after braces. I took out my braces at 17 or 16. I gotta let this go. I put back some of the things that actually belong here. These are items that need to be moved into my travel stuff. And then these shears should be put in my hair cutting supplies when I decide to cut my own hair. I have been using this after showers lately. It is the Olay Regenerous Overnight Mask. And truthfully, I use it after showers on my body because I have so much of this and it takes a long time to get through this stuff. I tend to run out of body creams faster than face creams, so I'll just bring the face creams down. I have a couple of face masks here. It's the Pixie one, but I've used it a couple of times on Instagram. And then I have the Laneige, which I've scooped around the edge. That's why it's separated from the jar. Oh, it still smells so good. It's the yogurt multi berry mask, but this is more of a winter mask because it's good for moisturizing the skin. And right now, I don't find that I'm lacking in too much moisture in my face. But for now, I think I'm just gonna put them in because they're already open. I'm gonna put my face creams here. I have them out and about for now. And I've got nothing on the top. And you know what? I never really go up there, anyways found three products that I would like to ban. I have this cleanser from La Roche-Posay. It's, it's the Effa Claire Micro Peeling Purifying Gel for Persistent Imperfections. It has salicylic acid, 2%, but since you're washing it off, it's not on the skin for very long. Can you see how much is left in here? I'm almost finished this. So then I will replace my cleanser. And this is a duplicate. I don't need two of these, honestly. All right, lovelies, these are all the things that I'm decluttering from the bathroom. These are the chopping block items that need to be put away and or um, sorted. I found a couple of other boxes with some products and like this doesn't have that much. The other one actually had some crest white strips so um and also an extra ole regenerous so i put the new one on the bottom i found some crest white strips so whatever but then i found this so instead of like having it right side up it was resting like this and all of the product guys just like i don't even know how long this has been there like to the point where the box absorbed all the oil the color changed and um yeah so this is just gonna get thrown out it is past midnight so i need to stop but i'll continue tomorrow this is how much i'm decluttering these things that i showed you earlier i don't even know why i do this sometimes but i keep everything in the box this is about a year's worth of pixie pr their pr is some of the only pr that i still receive i got a shower thing I even though all of this is recyclable, I just feel like it's a lot. I really wish that they would decrease their packaging because this only fit two products in it. Like, why? Those boxes come in boxes, and then the products themselves individually come in other boxes. What the hell? The one thing that's okay is that the stuff is recyclable. One of the bags that I have is just self-tanner. I'm not even going to lie to you. I don't use self-tanner very often, if any. The one that is one of my favorites, this type here, which you just spray on and you let it dry and it just gradually, it's like a gradual tan. What are they calling this? They call it a moisturizing tanning spray. I had a couple of these in the past and I actually get through them. So I'm gonna take this one out so that I can actually use it this summer because I like it for maintaining tanned legs. If it's unopened, it can last a really long time until you open it. When you open it, it's only good for 12 months, so a year. And I have like all of the mittens from Saint Tropez. I have um, Vita Liberata and um, what is the other brand? There's one from Bliss. Screw it, I'm keeping it just cause I, I feel like it, honestly. When you're having difficulty decluttering skincare, 
you feel guilty or you feel like oh like i could still use it i recommend checking online on the brand's website to see if the product still exists sometimes you can't find it and then if you see it sold on ebay it's because someone was trying to resell it and it's discontinued or you see it sold out or out of stock in many places that is when i know that the product is ready to be decluttered there seems to be a lot of repackaging going on with Laneige. i think they're changing to a reusable packaging format which is great but for me as a blogger if I'm going to be talking about products and they're repackaged even though they're not discontinued it just sort of leads to inconsistency so the water bank is different but I believe okay the sleeping water mask is the same the Sika sleeping mask is the same that now goes in my box all the stuff that is in older packaging especially this water bank is like it needs to be used soon and probably not used in UGC. Something to note, micellar water does go bad. Now, normally it goes bad after six months of opening, but I noticed that instead of being clear, these are cloudy, so I'm decluttering these. I did a sponsored video for La Roche-Posay micellar water, I think back in 2015, and there were three bottles. I have one left and I'm going to let this go. I'm also letting go of these two from Jouviance. I've had them for a while and they have since repackaged, so the labeling is different now. And I just have copious amounts of micellar water. I'm going to be gifting these ones from Garnier Skin Active because I already have duplicates. The last time I purchased my favorite sunscreen for the face, which is La Roche-Posay Antelios, it came in a kit that had Tolerain cream, which I'm keeping, but the kit also came with this extra micellar water, and frankly, I don't think I can get through everything I have, so I'm going to be giving this to a friend. Seventy-seven items are getting decluttered plus the three micellar waters for my friend, 80 items are leaving now. Obviously, I still have so much, but I think that this is a start for now. I found a box that fits everything. I consolidated makeup bags and things I use for traveling, including packing cubes in here, and then this container is from Ikea, and if you buy multiples, they're stackable, but I don't need that right now. These are all of the perishables that are sample sized for traveling. They're organized by hair stuff, body stuff, stuff for the face, makeup removal, and there's some extra shampoo samples here. Well, conditioner and uh, random lip chap. In the next container, we have sheet masks, masks, and one bar of soap, exfoliating washes, toners, face creams, serums, eye cream, and a couple of capsule products, micellar water, oil cleansers, and regular cleansers. Extra makeup bags, I know I have an excessive amount, please just bear with me. A couple of face products that I can actually use on the body, I just put them in there for now, and these are self tanners. And in this cardboard box, bottles that I can use to decant product when I travel, including labels and I decluttered because I just simply didn't like them anymore or they were all old and used up and gross. Maybe they leak in the bag, whatever, they're gone. And I know this looks a bit crazy, but these are all of the most recent PR that I've received. I kind of like to keep it separate because then I know what I've been sent most recently. This is about a year's worth of PR. Okay guys, let's not forget the bathroom. Now, the top shelf I ended up filling with wipes, crest white strips, and some vitamin E stuff that I can use for, uh, you know, scar treatment. Ended up finding another La Roche-Posay sunscreen. This I did receive in PR, the other one I purchased, but the one that I purchased is brand new, so I put this one in front. I don't use a self-tanner very often. And ideally, I just didn't want very many products in front of each other. I think I more or less achieved my goal here, except this little corner is a little bit hectic. There are also a couple of products in here that I told you I'm almost finished, like these two bad boys. So I definitely have a backup cleanser for that. And then body oil, which I want to finish. Well, it seems like the chaos is over, but it's not. There are still so many more things that I need to declutter like my nail polish collection. 
or my makeup collection, which is very overdue for another declutter. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe. I do a lot of declutters. And I'm not just the type of beauty guru who is out doing hauls and purchasing a bunch of things. This is a major downsize in my life, just in general. I wish you a beautiful day or evening wherever you are and thanks so much for watching.